Hello, and welcome to Thoroughgood's video series, Powerful Pairings, Tableau, and Teradata. In this video, I will showcase how you can enable self-service analytics using the data visualization capabilities of Tableau while harnessing the processing power of Teradata. My name is Laura Haas, and you can contact me using the information provided below. For more information about Thoroughgood, please visit our website using the link here. In this video, I will highlight some considerations for self-service then share and demonstrate how users can self-serve using Tableau. Throughout, I will emphasize the key role Teradata plays in delivering self-service analytics. This is the second video in our series, but you can watch the other videos using the links provided below. With all BI solutions, managing the underlying database, in this case Teradata, is the foundation of the solution. Then there is a need for someone to create, manage, and model data sources that feed into the front-end reporting. Next is the actual creation of the dashboards and reports. And finally, there is the consumption and use of those front-end reports. All organizations we work with have an IT department and business users that work together to develop solutions that meet their reporting needs. We often see solutions where IT is responsible for managing the database, creating data sources, and developing the front-end reports. The business users are only accessing the IT-created content, and the level of self-service analysis is fairly limited since they cannot create new reports from scratch. In this model, IT is serving a wide array of business users, and delays in addressing feedback and requests from the business users can create bottlenecks when trying to deliver to such a large user community. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we see solutions completely managed by end users, since these business users have the desire to get to their underlying data to create content on their own. This shifts the responsibility of data source and front-end reporting creation away from IT to the end users. While this allows the business users to have more autonomy, there are technical considerations for giving end users direct access to the underlying data and having them responsible for report creation. While each part is important, we see that the most critical piece for enabling self-service is the data source and content creation. Rather than having IT or the business fully responsible for these pieces, we think it is important to approach it from both IT and business perspectives. This sort of balance between IT and the business ensures a technically sound solution that delivers the most business value to end users without IT being a bottleneck to report delivery. Specifically with Tableau, users are able to self-serve in a variety of ways, depending on their maturity level. The first group of users are the consumers. These users interact with Tableau by accessing published dashboards on Tableau server. They typically have the ability to filter data, save custom views, and drill down to lower levels of detail. In other words, these users discover insights in their data using guided analysis. As your users get comfortable with this analysis, some of them will become explorers. These users can modify existing dashboards published to Tableau Server to create additional visualizations and dashboards. Or they can use published data sources to create their own visualizations and dashboards. As some of these users get more familiar with editing existing Tableau dashboards, they can jump to Tableau Desktop to create completely new content and even incorporate additional data sources. These creators are different than the explorers, as they are responsible for developing and publishing content for other users. As mentioned before, consumers and explorers are typically self-serving with Tableau Server, while the creators are self-serving with Tableau Desktop. Once the creators develop content in Desktop, they publish it back to Tableau Server for the consumers and explorers to use. With that, I'll now jump into a few demos to highlight these self-service options available in Tableau. Let's first take a look at Tableau Server. In this demonstration, we are using Tableau Server version 10.0. Here I have a regional sales dashboard with a breakout of my sales over time by business type, profitability of resellers by sales amount, and the profitability of products by category. Users can drill into their data by filtering the dashboard to whatever intersections they're interested in. For example, I can update the regions shown using the filter on the right-hand side. I can save this view as a custom view so that I can easily access it in the future without having to make the individual filter selections as I did here. This view could be saved just for me, 
or could be shared with my colleagues who may be interested in this view of the data as well. While this dashboard does allow me to interact with the data and visualizations, I can't drill down to the level of detail I would like to. However, I do have a few options to further investigate some of the drivers of this unprofitable retailer by using the WebEdit capability in Tableau Server. WebEdit gives users the ability to modify published dashboards by creating additional worksheets or dashboards. The interface is very similar to Tableau Desktop, but there are some limitations in the amount of customization that can be done in this WebEdit mode. WebEdit is great for explorers who are just starting off and creating their own visualizations. However, Tableau Desktop is a more robust option, so we'll jump into Tableau Desktop to see how explorers and creators can start to create some of their own content. I'm going to first connect to a data source that's been published to Tableau Server. Within Tableau Desktop, again version 10.0, I can connect to Tableau Server and select Reseller Sales. When I connect to the published data source, I can see all of my fields are pre-calculated and everything is formatted to be business friendly. Because it's a published data source, I don't have to worry about creating joins or relationships between tables when I connect. Looking at my dimensions and measures here, it appears that many of those unwanted or unused fields are hidden, all of the field names are user-friendly, and if I start to pull on some of these measures here, I can see that they're automatically formatted to either be currency or percentage, depending on what it needs to be. All of this customization was done prior to the data source being published to Tableau Server. So that way, when my users are accessing it, they don't have to worry about formatting or wondering which fields they should be using. I can start to take a closer look as to what's going on with Westside Plaza in the Southeast which was that unprofitable reseller that I noticed in my published dashboard. I'm particularly interested in looking at the profit margin and discounted, discount percentage for each product sold at Westside Plaza, as there may be some correlation between profit and discount. I'm going to start by pulling discount percentage onto my columns, and then bring profit margin onto my rows. I'm going to bring in a bit more detail here. So I'm going to bring on products into my detail and I'm going to start filtering this down a bit. So I'm going to look at my West Side Plaza and bring that on as a filter here. So what I can start to see very quickly is that there actually does appear to be some sort of relationship between profit margin and discount percentage. This sort of one-off analysis is something that my explorers would be interested in doing, and something that they could pretty easily do within Tableau Server. However, I think other users in my organization may find this view useful, so I've created a dashboard here that takes a look at some additional details. This sort of analysis could be used supplemental to that regional sales dashboard I showed before, so I'm going to publish this to Tableau Server. This fills more of a creator role for developing an entire dashboard and then publishing it out for others to use. Before we wrap up today's video, I want to highlight how Teradata fits into this solution. Regardless of how your users self-serve, Teradata is the underlying data engine that is managed by IT to ensure proper data modeling and good performance. You can rest assured knowing your business users are all accessing a single version of truth by using Teradata as the underlying source in all of these instances. To quickly recap, I have showed how you can empower more users in your organization to perform self-service analytics in Tableau while harnessing the processing power of Teradata. Please check out the other videos in this series by using the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me using the contact information provided here. I hope you found the content of this video useful. Thank you for watching.